what, 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 what? Welcome to this RDLC video titled Building a Great Culture, or as we describe it, building a tribe where it's cool to be good. The elite, best of the best, will make it better. Every business has a culture, good or bad. So in this video, we hope to give you some insights into how we both ran our businesses and created world-class cultures. Now inspiring others can be done in a whole load of ways, but however you go about it, make sure you're authentic and true to yourself because people can tell if you're faking it or reading it off auto cue. And I'm Ron Burgundy. Go fuck yourself, San Diego. So people come to work for you because of your vision and the part they can see themselves playing in that. And obviously, whether they think you can get there. The importance thereafter is to constantly reiterate your vision, your mantra, express your why. why don't you? This will align all your individuals. Don't have these massive personal goals that disenfranchise your staff. If you don't work harder, I won't get to five million. This is just wrong. If you earn 150,000 pounds, I will build a business around you where you can own some of that five million. You too can be a success. It's not about the money, money, money. And do not settle too early. Keep grafting. I hope, I hope. Lead, don't boss, and always help and support others. Easy, miss. I've got you. If you don't work hard, then nobody else will. If you're not having a good time, then nobody else should. <laughs> It says your vision is less important to you than you playing golf on a Friday. Be mindful. Know your people. Be able to remind them what they are working towards. And you really think we can do this? We're going to do it. One size never fits all. Try to inspire the individuals, not the masses. People work for people in businesses. If your unelected churn goes up, something needs addressing. I think you've all done very well. well thank you, Mr. Grace. Ask for collaborations. We talk a lot about building a tribe. And in a strong tribe, people all have a responsibility and accountability to themselves and to everybody else in that tribe. They should be looking to be the best at what they can do. That's performance, efficiency, striving for constant improvement and innovation. Your door should always be open, just like your mind. Dr. Lecter. You see, the brain itself feels no pain, Clarice, if that concerns you. Listen to your people. Let them bring great ideas to you. Have fireside chats, walk them around the block, open mic sessions, pizzas in the boardroom, drink after work. It's a double brand. And another double brand. Can he make it three doubles on his very first go? He's done it. You need to listen to what they've got to say. It's crazy, but it just might work. You need to act upon their ideas. You need to give them credit for those ideas publicly. Because it's not my idea. Any idea is our idea. There's no monopoly on these. Oh, I'm about to liquidate my assets. <laughs> What the hell's going on back here? They just make your tribe stronger. Also, praise energy and effort. Get up, lad, get up. As much as sales performance. If someone hits their sales target and their KPIs, please God make statues of them because it happens very seldom. If they hit their target, but not their KPIs and drivers, it's okay, but it's no great cigar moment. No thanks, bad luck, three on a midget. If they hit their KPIs, but not their sales target, but it's our fault because the KPIs were wrong. Spider-Man was a hero. I just couldn't see it. 
He was a... A thief! A criminal! The only time that you should really worry in your business, if someone doesn't do their energy and effort, they don't do their KPIs, and they don't do their sales target. At that point, you have an issue. The only person at that moment you can blame is them. <laughs> It's important to make people feel safe. So if they're trying hard, make them feel safe. I've got the legs stuck in the dark, she's laughing and tapped, and I feel so tender there, looking like that, and that's it, and then you will have to go down here to do something clever. What goes now? It's gonna get the lid on the leg, don't try, so don't it, eh? Set very high expectations. Very high. There's a lightning in your eyes, I can't deny. If you only let a perm villa, work exclusive and retained. It's the only thing they can do. There is no other option. They will become great. <music> Similarly, if you set 15K a week for a minimum standard sub two year villa and show them how this becomes the norm, they know you expect exceptional and exceptional happens. With so many new tools out there and creative ways recruiters can make money, we should be doing two times the age old 10K average NFI. No, but too few bosses are willing to raise the bar. Nice and cool, you know what I mean? <laughs> Don't be frightened, people. You might lose people, but these are the ones who can't reach your expectations. The majority will consistently turn up the dial. What we do is if we need that extra push over the cliff, you know what we do? Uh, put it up to 11. 11, exactly. You're paying for new products, they should increase yield. People love working in an environment where they're surrounded by other brilliant people. When a sales floor is just average, it might as well be poor. Fortune favors the brave, and to be brave needs to be cool. Don't over reward average billing or just turning up on time. Make sure the best know they're the best, and they make everybody else aspirational. Do the words give up mean anything to you? Not a thing. Exactly. I think the best should be treated differently, so it's something to strive for. Treat the best, the top billers, really well. Extra leave, longer lunches, more money, loads of extra privileges. They keep these as long as they stay on point and really good, making it cool to be good. I'd often take out a top biller for a sexy lunch from nowhere to show appreciation, or send holiday vouchers to their partner, or flowers to their mum. Place is kind of a mess. As my way of saying thank you for the support you're giving them for the work they're doing for me. It's all to do with feeding that emotional piggy bank that I can dip into and make a withdrawal when I needed extra help. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And finally, you need to make your working environment a very hard place to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Involve people's families. Be seen to take care of them. Having a strong social scene, being active in CSR and having an amazing brand with strong values make it very, very tough for people to leave. Their belief in you, your vision and your ability to help them and you achieve it is going to make your place a very, very tough environment to move from. There's no place like home. And finally, and listen. Knowing your people and them knowing and believing in you and your vision and your ability to achieve it is massively important. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things. One giant leap for mankind. There has to be that personal connection and trust. You need to let them go early for a cup final training or let them go early to actually watch the kids in a school play without having to take holidays. Say hello to my little friend. Take that to cockroaches. You have to believe in your people and take care of them. And they will take care of you. And at that point, you can demand exceptional. Try it. Cheers. To the Dragon Queen!